most significant thing to me on this trip was being able to experience the inauguration with people that I already knew and people that I was getting to know. Getting to know these, getting to know more about these people, learning more about them, learning how to respect them. And being with them and talking to them was one of the most important things to me. The second thing was being treated as an adult. Not like a child, because you know, we always refer to as children, but we were still we were still treated as adults. I was treated like I was 18. I was treated like a woman by the males and the females. And number three, hmm, going to the inauguration was the greatest experience in my life, and I'd be able to say that I was there. I experienced it. I stood in a crowd of millions and millions of people bunched together in the cold. I was there. I did it. My name is Stephen Thars Gaylord, and these are the three things that I thought were most important to me about Inauguration Day. The first was the unity that we all saw there. It's like there were millions of people there, different races, different backgrounds, everywhere. But we all came there for one unified purpose to see Barack Obama elected as our 44th president of the United States. And it was just beautiful to see how everyone there, despite blistering cold and weather and all that, we just stood there and were there for Barack. The second, was seeing the future site where I would give my inaugural speech. I was filled with a sense of pride to see the place where I hope to one day give my inaugural speech because I hope to become our next president of the United States of America. I know it won't be easy, but seeing how Barack did it, that makes me that much more confident that I would be able to follow in his footsteps and do better. The third was just helping those two ladies out. Like two of the people who came with us weren't able to make the journey or walk like we could. So me and my fellow gentlemen helped them by carrying them, down, carrying them around in wheelchairs. This wasn't really too hard for me because I myself have had to take care of my grandmother because of her elder age, she can't, sometimes can't do things that she can normally do. So, you know, helping out elderly people, elderly people is something that comes second nature to me. And I, it, it was just, I just loved it. Thank you. There are three significant things about Inauguration Day for me. The first one was being able to personally witness the inauguration. Um, being able to do it was, a re was really a surreal moment for me because I was part of history by being able to vote for him and seeing him being inaugurated. The second thing was that I got to know people that I knew better and I got to meet new people. There were many people on this trip that I really didn't know anything about, didn't even know their names, and now I have more friends and I'm, my relationship with my other friends are closer. And the last thing was I learned a lot in history. The inauguration was the only historical thing that I experienced today. I met a lot of, his, a lot of um, significant figures in this and I saw a lot of historical landmarks. My name is Farah Rahman. I met a lot of 12th graders, even though I'm only a ninth grader, that I either thought were going to be mean, but they ended up turning to be like brothers and sisters to me. And I got real close to them, and now they're like family. When I see them in school, I got to speak to them now instead of just passing them up. So I met a lot of wonderful people, older people, younger people, middle-aged people. and. My third point is, was pushing the wheelchair for an elderly lady who couldn't walk for herself. Even though I could walk, I had to push the wheelchair for her since she was, she was almost like my second grandma, I should say. Since I have a grandma at home that I take care of and do things like that for her. And from now on, I'll keep in touch with that lady and see if she needs any more help. So. Hello, my name is Hakeem George Washington, and I also attended the inauguration of President Barack Obama. And some of the, my favorite things to do, uh, some of the things that I found very interesting, which made my experience all the more, was, well, first of all, walking through the crowd of people at the inauguration. I had to push a wheelchair through a crowd of people at the inauguration, and there were a whole lot of people that didn't want to get out of the way, but there were more nice people than there were, than there were people that didn't want to get out of the way. For instance, there was this girl 
this girl that grabbed my hand and she led us through the whole crowd she helped she helped lead the way through she asked people to move out the way for the wheelchair and then there was a whole lot of people like old people who couldn't do much for themselves and they still had the generosity to move out of the way and let me push the wheelchair up up to the front so the elderly lady I was pushing could watch the inauguration my second point my second point is the niceness of people again because there was so many nice people there while I was walking through DC, I dropped a whole lot of my stuff and I expected to be pickpocketing pickpocketing the stuff, but people returned my things. Um when I when I didn't know the way people helped me out. When they were oh yeah, and when I also when I was pushing the wheelchair on the sidewalk, people were asking people to get out of the way, they were saying, come on, come pass, since I had a wheelchair in my hand. And the US government, the US government book I read at school, it says that the human na the nature of humans, human nature, they are naturally greedy, self-serving, and selfish. But I found that to be untrue at NDC. And the third most interesting thing for me was just being at the inauguration. Just being within like a few blocks of some of my heroes like Barack Obama and Bill Clinton and also some more powerful political figures like George Bush and Dick Cheney and Michelle Obama. That was just something that just lifted my spirit up. I couldn't, I can't explain the amount of adrenaline that was pumping through my veins. I mean, I was so happy. I almost wanted to cry, but you know, I'm tough. <laughs> Black power.